So let me show you a more compelling reason why references are handy, and by far the way I use references the most. I have cow here, its name's Betsy, and then has moo count, uh, an example we've seen in several videos before. Uh, if you recall from the uh, defining variables on the stack videos that we actually have to initialize our values, otherwise we just get whatever garbage was left over on the stack. Uh, so we say Betsy moo count is zero, and then let's make a function here, void make cow moo cow cow and uh, let's say cow dot moo count plus plus alright this is a contrived example you know ideally this would be a make cow or make cow moo would be a function member of this struct this cow struct and moo count I'd do this in the constructor of cow but I'm trying to demo something here so let's just roll with it um, I'm gonna call make cow moo moo sorry Let's pass Betsy. All right, and then after we call make cow moo, I'm going to see out Betsy dot moo count and line. All right, pause the video. Think what the output's going to be. I'll build it and I'll run. Da -da 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 -da. Output is zero. Well, why is the output zero when I called make cow moo and it incremented moo count here? Well, the reason is because of the way we've defined this parameter up here, this cow cow. When I pass Betsy for cow here, it's a little like I've written um, uh, cow cow gets Betsy. And I hope you recall from the assignment and uh, copy constructors and all those videos that this calls the assignment operator for a cow. Well, since I did not define the assignment operator, the compiler literally just copies all the bits out of a cow instance from what's on the right and copies those bits straight over to the left hand side. So so Betsy, this variable Betsy here represents RAM different from cow, which is right here. They're two separate pieces of RAM. The only thing I did is copy all the bits in. So when I modify this cow's moo count, it's not modifying the same as Betsy's. Betsy has her own RAM. Well I can fix that up by using a reference. Now when I put a reference there, it's the same as putting a reference there. So cow references whatever I pass in, and I'm passing in Betsy right here. So let's build that, run that, and hopefully you would expect the output to change to A1. All right, now this moo count plus, plus modifies Betsy's memory directly. A lot like a pointer, okay? Not much difference from what you'd expect with a pointer. Uh, I, I gain some syntactical advantage, though. I can say dot instead of having to use the arrow, and I can't change what this cow is referencing. So references are constant once you've initialized them, and define them, and initialize them. Okay, so so there's some of the differences. But suppose, uh, uh, well, one more advantage you notice is is cow here. It's almost become an output parameter in a way. Whatever I do to this cow, it's like I'm returning it. It's an alternate return. So. Uh, this is where things get religious. If you ask me, generally, if you're going to return something, do it through the return value. Uh, don't put void here. Do something different. But you know, once in a while, it's nice to have these output parameters where we get an address in, and I can do something to it, and then the caller can further read and use that data. Once in a while, this comes in handy in cases where you need multiple objects returned, that kind of thing. Um, but say you don't want that effect. In fact, you want to guard yourself against doing that. You just want to read for moo count. So instead of make cow moo, we want to print moo count. Or print, how about this? Print num moos. Okay. Well, here I'm making the cow moo, and then let's uh, see out uh, cow dot moo count. So I'm doing what I promised I would do. I'm printing the moo count here, but then I am also have this dirty side effect now. Print num moos does not hint to me that this function here will modify the value inside a cow. It just tells me it's just going to print the moo count. All right? So one way to enforce that, uh, from a caller's perspective and also from you, but you as the writer of the function, way to enforce that is to make this const, if I can spell it right. So now, cow, I, I gain the advantage of a reference here, but then I, I do const. I, I, can't, I can no longer modify it. Now you may think, you know what, Jamie? If I'm passing Betsy in, I just want to print moo count. Why, why would I even go to this reference thing anyway? Let's just get rid of the reference. Let's get rid of the const. I'll get a little uh, four byte copy. I'll have to do the copy constructor on the cow, but this cow, it's just four bytes. What's the big deal? Well, 
Yeah, in my opinion, there's not a big deal. It's, when I say cow in this case, it's the same as saying int. Cow's not very big. But what if cow was very big? And generally, objects do get rather large. All right, so move count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Contrived values, you know, maybe this isn't move count, but it's leg count and head count and stomach count and chew count and all those various uh, values you can get for different integers. We'll just roll with all these move counts. But now when I say, hey, um, not make cow move, it's print num moves. When I invoke print num moves and I pass Betsy in here, well, there's a little bit more work now. We have to copy all these ints. Sorry, excuse me. We have to copy all of these integer values into this cow here. Okay, let's let's go back to the syntax here. When I say cow gets Betsy, I'm going to have to copy all these ints out of Betsy and into this cow. Well, now you're starting to talk. Yeah, that could get a little heavy, especially if you do it a ton. All right, so we can gain the advantage of, of not copying this. We can just say, hey, give me a reference to the data. Now it only has to pass four bytes in instead of uh, four bytes, same as a pointer, essentially, in instead of the entire cow object. But still, to gain the uh, constness, I can put const out here, and I can no longer modify the value of cow. So we get two advantages. One, we don't have to do the big, ugly copy, and two, we're still protected against modifying this parameter. Okay, so it's, it's up to you how you want to use that, but definitely the uh, references, in most cases, when I'm passing arguments, I'll just simply say const whatever reference. All right, primitive data types, I mean, if we're doing a function that, I don't know, void something to do with an int and say int i, well, you could say int reference i, but a reference to a, a four-byte reference to something that's four bytes anyway, just copy it in. It's not a big deal. But but larger objects like cow, well, okay, now you're talking. We should reference this game a little bit of speed.